Welcome to another tropical weather update. Um, so I forgot to make a map, so that's my bad. But um, according to analysis, we have this area with a ten percent chance in the next um, you know, in the next couple of days. National Hurricane Center has it as a zero percent, and the one down there has dissipated, believe it or not, which is rather interesting. Um, look at the five day graph right here. Again, not much there. Now, if we do go to the two days now, as you can see. Uh, that's pretty much dissipated. This is where the low used to be, somewhere here. It dissipated, and then that's the other area with a zero percent chance. We previously had it as a seventy percent chance, but that has pretty much, you know, it's not looking too good. But we still have it as a ten percent chance on based on our analysis. Also, tropical depression four has formed right here. Four E winds of thirty mile per hour. It's gonna be moving. And then dissipating in the couple, in the next couple of hours, most likely. Um, here's the current systems again. Not much going on there. 96 cell has dissipated, so that's gone from our uh, imagery. Here's a look at the North Atlantic. Um, it should pop up on your screen. Here it is. Here's a look at the North Atlantic. We here's a look at the North Atlantic. Um, so again, not much. Um, Here's that 10% area, you know, that area right here. Uh, so it has a little bit of spin to it. Here's that old area that we had chance of development. Uh, it still looks pretty good on the satellite imagery, but it's really not expected to form at any point now. So, you know, not too much there either. Looking at the force scale models from the GFS, uh, because that's the one that goes the farthest out. Again, nothing expected really to form right now. Um, that low, as you can see, models don't really form it. Uh, this model does form it in the next 78 hours, so we'll see if that ends up happening or not. Other than that, we could have a potential uh, storm also forming off the coast of Florida uh, in the next uh, 144 hours, and a second storm uh, in that also forming around the same time. So we would have two storms consecutive um, at the same time in the coming weeks. Uh, so we're looking out for potential... Edward, we're looking at first potential Edward um, around here, the one that came out that way, and then um, Faith, potentially this one, and whatever the next name is for this one. Uh, all of them would go out to sea, though, um, which is good, but we would be way ahead of schedule. I think the one after Faith is like Hannah or something. So if all of those do end up forming out, we would be well ahead of schedule. Um, Edward, Fred, no, Gon, Gonzalo, and then that would be Hannah, the next one, and if we do get to, like, the ice storm in July, that would be so much ahead of schedule, like, Irma, that was an ice storm, that formed, believe it or not, that formed in, like, mid-September, beginning of September, so we would be well, well ahead of schedule with this, so it's pretty crazy, but... We're gonna have to watch for this two tropical, uh, potential three tropical storm. Um, let's look really quick at the CMC does show. So it does show one of them uh, forming. So we're just gonna have to see. The CMC does show it looks like two forming instead of three. It looks like maybe. Uh, so it's pretty interesting. Let's see if the European model shows anything. The European model just does not go that far out, but we can still look to see does show anything in particular that we can look at uh here's the Melbourne in the wind so let's see here so GFS model I mean the European model it really doesn't show anything maybe it shows maybe one tropical storm two tropical storms so G uh European so it does look like on average two tropical storm are likely maybe three uh in the coming weeks of July and late June. So we're going to have to see if that is end up going out. This is a pretty short video. I don't have a lot of time, but we're going to be back tomorrow with more updates in the tropics and a worldwide tropical weather update also tomorrow.